All right, we are live, yo. How's it going, everybody? I hope you're all doing well. Welcome on in, yo. Miss Robin, the first in chat here. How's it going? Claudia, welcome on in. Dot, dot, dot. How's it going? Tree, welcome on in. Mike, how's it going? Bob Grubbs, uh, Uma, Deadite Ash, um, Tree. I already welcomed you. Uh, Nick, welcome on in. Um, yo, Incognito Ren, E Macaroon, Dill, Mally, um, NX, Biza, welcome to the Twitch. Hope you're all doing well. Yo, Brown Skin Beauty, welcome on in. Dark Knight, welcome on in. FCO, welcome on in. Justin, welcome on in. Say Claudia again, welcome on in, Claudia again. Yo, know, Mark, thank you for the heart me. Claudia, thank you for the rose. Justin, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. Yo, know, uh, Jama Lee, welcome on in. Laker boy, how's it going? Yo, know, how's everybody doing? Hope you're all doing well. How's it going? Let's get right into it. Gamble 2 by Jez Jitsu. Yo, know, Bob Grubbs, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. All right, let's do this. Right, so you can uh, play around on the title screen if you want. You can even screen wrap. Oh. You can even vertically screen wrap. Neat. Okay. Nice. So it looks like we play as Luigi here. Let's do this. You know, oh, snap. Well, come on in. Mario never returned from his last venture. Rumors of a riddle crazed quiz master echoed throughout the land. All right, the gaff. Let's check it out. Yo, Carla, thank you for the heart. Me appreciate that. Auto saves midways and exits. Uh, start and select exit the level. Good luck. Have fun. Three worlds, three switch palaces. Find them, and we'll be and we'll find your brother. Bring it on. Okay, what's in the chimney though? Yo, this is such a good port. This is such a good port. Let's go. This room is dedicated to all those that speed ran Gamble. I haven't heard this port before. Is this original to this hack? Gamble 100% leaderboards. Hell yeah. Oh, is it just the first loop? Just the first few notes. That's still a really fun port. <laughs> Love that. Truly, thank you. It doesn't have the uh, arpeggio here. It doesn't have the bass either. Okay. Yes, just the first few notes, but that's a really fun port though. <laughs> Let's go, hell yeah. Oh yeah, it was germed up there. I wasn't paying attention. Let's see. Where was it? Oh! Quiz percent shout out. Germ Dove. Hell yeah. There's Germ. Let's go. What hack is this? This is a Super Mario World ROM hack called, um, Gamble 2. Alright, let's do this. Pine time. Let's go. Okay, no enemies whatsoever here. That's interesting. Okay, that's it. What now? This, is, okay, it's different. There's our first enemy, finally. <laughs> okay, I hit the wrong side of that, okay. Nice. Let's go. This is the first level after all, so yeah, probably just starting off- Oh my god, he juked me. Starting off a bit easy. But also, this is an intermediate hack, so it's going to be easy for me. 
Um, do note that I make it look a lot easier than it actually is. Shit. Okay, I need to throw that at the left wall, and I panicked because I didn't. Like that. There we go. Okay, I had no clue what type of falling platform that would be. Okay. Okay, it's one of those ones. So you gotta raise it by jumping. Gotcha. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure where to go there. Okay, nice progress. Let's go. You know, Anton, thank you for the rose. Oh, snap, thank you for the team bracelet. Appreciate that. Down there, over here, over here. Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. Okay, that was a good attempt, yo, Adriano. Thank you for the uh, heart puff gift. Appreciate that. Whew, okay, let's do this. You know, thank you for the heart me as well. This is really fun so far. Really chill. Oh! Okay. I thought I would land on that for some reason. Just wasn't too focused on it. I was looking at the switch rather than Luigi. I can just jump a second time. Okay. I thought I had just that one chance to enter the pipe, so I ran for it. It was pretty close to entering, but that's not quite how you actually want to do that. Okay. Nice, nice. Let's go. Oh, you're kidding me. Actually, that's salvageable. Not anymore. Man, <laughs> the Switch did not want me to actually hit it. It had like a massive force field around the Switch that just shoved me over to the right instead of letting me hit it. That's funny. You know, Claudia, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. That is a much safer way to do that. Okay. Interesting. I took too long. Okay, so... I think just do this first, then through here. Oh! So do we... Oh god. And I just missed the block, okay. Yo, Snick Tech, thank you for the $10 donation. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support, really means a lot. So do I hit the platform first? Um, let's see. If I hit one of these first, then hit the platform. Oh God. Okay, if I hit one of these first, then hit the platform, then hit the second one, that works, okay. Oh, okay. Gotta be fast there. Okay. That works, though. 
For some reason, I am horrible at actually hitting blocks above my head. Oh my god! That is actually kind of precise. Okay. Just a little bit. There we go. Just gotta be ready for it is all. Oh! Okay. Okay. Interesting. The, the speed of those kind of trips me up, because... Usually these go the same speed as one another, but... Not with this level. So, like, they were lined up vertically to where didn't feel like I could stay standing on one and pass, um, like, fall past the other one while standing on the one, but the one I was standing on actually moves slower. Yeah, so I can do that. It was pretty interesting. Oh, God. okay. I'm uh, too slow. Yep, okay. I didn't know in time, okay. That was a good attempt though. Yo, Caddy Mac, thank you for the 10 roses. Appreciate that. Some good reasoning on the fly. Yeah, uh, have a decent bit of practice with that. But yeah, for anyone just joining in, I have never seen these levels before. This is my first playthrough here. There we go. Okay. Okay. I had the right read there, but then the um the platform physics tripped me up a little bit. So as soon as I jumped, I suddenly had a bunch of rightwards or a bunch of leftward speed that I didn't want. Go. Okay. Got another shot here. Oh god! Okay, I wasn't ready for it to be that fast there. Okay. Yo, not Mark. Thank you for the 10 GGs. Appreciate that. Yo, Phoenix Risen, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Who decides on ROM hack difficulties? Um, for the SMW Central difficulty rating, um, that's the SMW Central moderators. I did it again. I <sighs> did it again, okay. Gotta remember that that one you wanna hit twice. It's like the one that you actually wanna hit twice and all the rest you wanna just hit once. Yeah, because that's kind of what it looks like it's going to want me to do there, but you actually just want to stay standing on the one up top. Just got to remember everything to do here, basically. There we go. Okay. This part's theoretically straightforward as long as I'm paying attention. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Hell yeah. This is a fun first level. Let's go. Yo, Liquid Sun 92 thank you for the 10 chilies. Appreciate that, Martin. Thank you for the GGs coming in. Appreciate that. All right. Second level. Let's do this. Hubba Bubba. Let's go. You know, foolproof fail. Thank you for the GG, appreciate that. How does Bob Marley like his donuts? With jamming. I have seen a little bit of people playing this, but not enough to like, remember the jumps or anything. Oh God, okay.
Oh God, give me the shell, please. God damn it. Okay. That was a good first attempt. We'll take that. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Why didn't the dolphin jump back out? There's literally water down there. That's not fair. A little bit of slow down there. Oh god! Okay. Nice! Easy peasy. Let's go. Okay. Nice checkpoint. Let's go. Okay. Gonna be a little faster there, of course. But now that we know what to do, should help quite a lot. Yeah, there we go. Down here, up here, okay. Oh god, okay. Okay. Wasn't quite able to hit the switch. I am really bad at hitting switches with my head and that is a recurring theme this playthrough so far. We're getting there though. There we go. Oh, you're kidding me. Okay. Yo, Jessica, thank you for the... Uh, the heart me, appreciate that. I mean, there's literally over a thousand Kaizo hacks out there, so I'm not gonna be running out anytime soon. Even if people stop making ROM hacks, then I can just play the old ones. Oh god, yeah, that's gonna be a little bit... A little bit tough there. I think I'm too slow. I'm definitely too slow. Yep. Cool. Wonder if you can get too fast ahead of the bubble. Oh god! For some reason I just wasn't paying attention down there. Okay. It is definitely important to watch where you're going. I don't know what tripped me up there. There we go. Shit. Oh, those switches are actually gonna be really tough to hit. Okay, then we're using the dolphin and the- okay. Whew. I wonder if you actually have to lower those donuts or if you can get just the right angle without lowering them. I don't know. It looks really tough either way. The way that these are actually lined up there. There we go. Uh, God damn it! Really? No! I did the hard part there. Come on. Come on. That is not fair. Can't believe that's what I died to there. Ooh, okay. Someone in TikTok chat wanted to ask me if I wanted to join TikTok, um, SMW moderation. Eh, it doesn't really interest me. Okay. Okay, what now? Nice! Let's go! Easy game! Hell yeah! On Twitch too, I assume? Yeah, uh, I'm over on Twitch and TikTok at the same time. Yo, Pat J. Brandon, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Um, Pat J. Brannon, if now's a good time, I could do a fruit dealer run for you. Yo, Julian, thank you for the 10 GGs. Appreciate that. All right. Um, let's at least peek into here. 
Uh, Cowabunga. Let's check this out. And Julian, thank you for the, um, the 10 GGs. Appreciate that. Ooh, come on. But yeah, definitely do let me know if now would be a good time, uh, Pat J. Brannon, for Create Ink. Oh, God! Okay. Oh, God, it's kind of tough to know where to go there. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, the music here is really awesome. Okay. Yoshi, you're supposed to grab that, please. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. Yoshi! Come on. Ooh. Yo, Claudia, thank you for the tiny diny. Appreciate that. Yo, welcome to the Twitch. Hope you're both doing well. Much prefer watching here. Yeah, I can, uh, I can definitely relate. I like giving people the option. So whether they want to watch on their phone or on their computer, or if they just want to Hold their phone sideways, whatever they want to go with. Alright, I... Okay. The coins are telling me where it is safe to drop, it looks like. Gotcha. Okay. So, gotta catch up with Yoshi here, it looks like. Oh god. I gotta catch Yoshi in midair somehow. I gotta be faster with everything past the Yoshi ditch, it looks like. Probably be smarter about when I ditch Yoshi. Oh god. Okay. Please? Okay, we're good. When the coins tell me where the safe spot is gonna be. And okay. That's unfortunate. Okay. Didn't quite see what I was doing quite in time. Okay, that was a good attempt though. Let's go. Hell yeah. Okay, I think the extra bounce that I did after hitting the switch is what killed that attempt. Yo, Linkmart, thank you for the Prime sub over on the Twitch. Your one and only Prime sub this month. Thanks so much for the support. Really means a lot. Enjoy the ad-free Twitch viewing and the adorable Jade Harley emotes. Thank you so much for the support. It means a lot. Are there people that actually like the portrait view? Uh, it's really handy if you like being able to chat on your phone. Um, that way you don't have to rotate your phone every time that you um, type something in chat. Okay, nice, let's go. What now? Oh, we got the uh, sticky ceilings, nice. Hell yeah. And more awesome music. Uh, okay, grab the Goomba, use it to kill that guy, gotcha. Oh wait. It wants me to, wait, what? Oh, okay, I thought that was telling me I wanted to, like, face left and keep the Goomba, which made no sense to me, but it's actually just move left. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Oh god! Okay, that's way more progress than I was expecting to get there. Let's go. Hell yeah. Should open it. Shelly is he in here too. Okay. 
Um, so I actually already opened the box here. Um, but, uh, I got some fan mail here by Create Ink with Pink and Pat J. Brannon. Uh, we got, let me, um, turn on the autofocus for that. And then switch over the scene here. So we got a, um, gift card here. Not gift card, uh, card. Just a regular card. Um... But it says, you're kind of the best ever. And then inside, it's all mirrored, sorry, but got a letter from uh, Shelly and Pat J. Brannon here. So create ink with pink is Shelly. And then this is the gift we got. Actually, let me uh, see. I mirror it now. Wait, no, I can mirror it through here. Let me see if that mirror image. That, I kind of look weird mirrored, or not mirrored, but, um, here we got the mug here that says TJB King of Fruit Dealer, and that has the Fruit Dealer boss printed on it. Very, very cool gift from Create Ink with Pink and Pat J. Brannon here in chat. Um, and then in the letter here, they said, um, they would love to see me complete it for them. So, turn the camera settings back to normal here. Let me head over to the fruit dealer boss fight then. Let's uh, move on the overworld to be sure that checkpoint saves. And then we'll head over to the fruit dealer boss fight here. Let's do this. Yo, Matt, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. All right, let me load this up here. Put the uh, text up here. That would be, um, that. there we go. And then tubular. And why is that not working? Why is that not working? What? That's weird. Create ink and... Oh, and amp. That's dumb. <laughs> Pat J. Brannon. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. See how quickly I can beat the fruit dealer. So, uh, for anyone who hasn't seen it yet, this is probably the hardest Super Mario World boss fight ever made. I have a good chunk of practice with this one, so let's see how quickly we can beat it. This is the, uh, Fruit Dealer boss fight from Cooler Cruel Stage 12 Tubular. And this was never even meant to be humanly possible. Like, meant to be beaten with a buttload of save states and you're not supposed to beat it legit. Like, that's just not something that the creator expected to ever happen, ever. So let's make it happen. Let's do this. That was a good first attempt, though. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Hell yeah. Let's go. Okay. Second try for sure, though. Let's 
get this. Shelly made my TJB shirt. Yeah, I heard that. Hell yeah. Alright, let's do this. And also, I am hearing back pretty soon-ish. I think six days from now is when I'm gonna hear back whether this is gonna get into, um, Summer Games Done Quick or not. Huge, huge charity event uh, that takes place twice a year. And I submitted this boss fight um, that'll... We'll see if I get in or not, but I want to be able to play this on stage for Doctors Without Borders there. It'll be awesome if I get in. So we're going to find out pretty soon whether it turns up on the game list or not. I think it's on the 24th that the game list comes out. Something like that. Nice! Let's go! Easy game! Let's go! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Thank you again, Create Inc. and Pat J. Uh, Pat J. Brannon, Shelly and Pat, for the uh, for the mug saying King of Fruit Dealer. Thank you so much for the support. It really means a lot. Yo, Steven Delbrook. Thank you for the watermelon love gift. Matt, thank you for the 25 team bracelets. Liquid Sun, thank you for the GGs. Julian, thank you for the 25 GGs. Really appreciate that. Hell yeah, okay. Let's see if we get the jump or not. Oh no! That's the hard thing about the jump, is you gotta make sure that the Koopa's moving slow enough that you're actually close enough to be able to reach the pipe. So you can still get the bounce, but that's only half the battle there. You gotta make sure, yeah. Really, really tough jump. Again, that jump there is optional. It's harder than anything in the fight itself. Let's go. Hell yeah. You know, Mr. Roy, thank you for the 10 GGs. Um, Lion, thank you for the confetti. Uh, Steves, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. Thanks so much for all the support. It really means a lot. All right. Let's get back to it. Gamble too. Can you do the midair shell jump? Can you do the shell midair jump there? No, because you can't grab the shell. You would need to be able to grab a shell in order to do a midair shell jump or any kind of shell jump with it. There's no way to get to the shell without just dying to the munchers. Either way, a midair there, you'd have to do a very special type of midair that I'm not actually sure would be possible from that angle. It'd be much harder to do it that way, if at all possible. Yeah, that boss fight that I beat there, that's meant to be played with save states. That's not meant to be humanly possible at all. The creator made that uh, under the assumption that it would literally never be beaten by a human ever. But we don't care. We don't care what that, um, how that was intended to play. How that was intended to be played. Play it without anyway. There we go. Okay. 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 Making progress here. Okay, okay. Really good progress, let's go. Yo, Steves, thank you for the heart me, appreciate that. Oh, 
Come on. Yeah, so there's a um, decent handful of people who have beaten Fruit Dealer, um, but nobody has beaten it multiple times in a row other than me. And I've beaten it eight times in a row. Oh god, okay. What? What did I die to? There's a timer? Oh god, okay. What? Okay, Jesus. Oh, was not expecting that. I just died out of nowhere there. Really tripped me up. Okay, Jesus. Guess I gotta go fast. Okay. Two seconds left on the clock. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh god, this is a weird uh, custom for a block here. That doesn't work quite the same. Why, why was this made? Yeah, this gives you extra height from a low bounce. That is really weird. Who made this? I want to find out more about this custom throw block. Because it doesn't behave like a normal throw block, but it seems like it's meant to behave like a normal throw block, and it confuses the hell out of me. Because there's, like, already the uh, disassembly of the throw block on SMW Central, but I don't think that's this. I'm pretty sure the same one was in Grand Prix World 3, and for some reason, when you're facing to the right, if you, um, if you let go of everything on the D-pad and then you, um, let go of the block, it throws it to the right. But if you're facing left and you let go of everything on the D-pad and you let go of it, then it drops it left rather than throwing it. The way that these throw blocks are supposed to work is that they um, always drop if you're D-pad neutral. So there's that issue, there's the issue that they flash slower than normal, there's also the um, the low bounces aren't as low as low bounces normally are. I don't understand why this block was made. I would like to understand the lore there. Kind of confused as to the origin of this custom throw block. I'm pretty sure um, there's also a speed define in it, like for when it gets kicked. Rather than just inheriting the speed that it was kicked at by whoever kicked it, like there's a hard-coded speed that it just changes to for some reason. I think uh, Boo the Bun ran into that, and I was kind of confused why there would be a speed define in the block ASM at all. But yeah, I'm curious as to uh, where this block came from. I've seen it in a couple hacks by now. Crap, I'm probably too slow here. Let's see. Definitely too slow. Okay! Okay, there's the end at least, though. We got this. Oh, come on. How long have I been strengthening for? Uh, I've been playing these kinds of Super Mario World ROM hacks for five years now, if that's what you're asking.
Okay, this should be fast enough here. Let's see. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Fuck! Man! Oh, I got a weird low bounce there that I was not expecting and then it just threw everything else off. Oh god. Okay, that was a good attempt though. Making good progress. Let's go. Oh, come on. Haircut and beard trim look good. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Okay. Got a shot here. Come on. Oh, let's go. Two seconds on the clock, and we're good. Okay. <laughs> nice, let's go. Hell yeah. Yo, Batman, thank you for the GGs coming in. Do I ever get compared to Yuval? I don't. That'd be a really great compliment if I did. Yo, uh, Violet Palace. Let's do this. Yuval is a great creator. Shouts to Yuval. Okay. Oh god! Okay. Yo, Steven Delbrook, thank you for the Star Adventures gift. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. Really means a lot. That gives you a lot of speed to the right. Jesus. Okay. Except it, it works differently than, um, it has the speed patch applied, which messes with me a little bit. Oh god, ah, oh, that's so hard to time, okay. Yeah, this is wall jump ASM, so custom code for wall jumps here. Oh god, okay, ah, oh, does it? I think it wants me to walk off. Okay, I think that's what I messed up there. Yo, Batman, thanks for all the GGs. Daisy LeBron, thank you for the GG as well. Appreciate that. And the soundtrack in this hack is so good. Some absolute bangers. It just walk off? Yeah. Oh god. Oh god, that is awkward as hell. Oh god. Okay, I wasn't sure if this was like... Okay. So, in um, Celeste.SMC, you're actually not allowed to wall jump while holding an item, so I juggled that because I wasn't sure. But it seems like you're supposed to wall jump while holding the shell there. Okay. That's one of those things where, like, it's all custom, so you just can't know until you try. You know, David, thank you for the team bracelets. Appreciate that. Vernon, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Oh, God! Please, man. So I don't actually know. Okay, you can wall jump while facing away from the wall. I don't have to worry about that then. Jesus Christ, that spike is so rude. Jesus, okay. Ooh. 
So are these meant to be done with D-pad neutral or not? Because that spike is perfectly positioned to punish you for using D-pad neutral, so I'm not actually sure. Oh god! Jesus! Oh, that is an awful, horrendous shell jump there. My god, okay, Jesus. Yo, David, thank you for the three team bracelets. Appreciate that. Did I get a haircut? Yes, I did. Fuck off. No. 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 Man, come on. Come on. That is not fair. Oh. That's more evidence to my theory that you're not actually meant to D-pad neutral for these. I don't know. Because you can get extra speed out of it if you're not holding anything on the D-pad. But then you can end up going too fast. I feel like that was left in for speedrunners, and then using that casually might break things a little bit. Make it not work quite how it was intended to work. Something like that. Yeah, like that. Like that. <sighs> I guess I can do it like that instead. That makes a lot more sense. No, except um, the sign tells me not to do that. I don't even know. Oh. Yo, create ink with pink. Thank you for the rose. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. It means a lot. Nice. Question time. How many keys on a classic piano? Shh. Okay, okay, thank god. I was gonna be so mad if you just dunked me without giving me a checkpoint. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're fine, though. Thank god for that checkpoint. Okay, how many keys on the pl- Classic piano. Uh, I want to say 82? No. Is it 88? Might be 88. It is. Yump! Let's go! Violet switch pressed. Any yumpies? Got some yumpies in chat. Hell yeah. Let's go. Yo, Wu Young's neck veins vein. Thank you for the uh, three roses. Appreciate that. Okay. Time did the stream start? Uh, 50 minutes ago. All right, let's see here. Go to world two this way. And check this out. Chasm Crawler. Let's do this. They get to that world. Uh, this is a Super Mario World ROM hack. So custom fan-made levels modded into the game. Uh, this one was made by Jezjitsu, and it's called Gamble 2. You can 
can get it from SMW Central that you do need a copy of Super Mario World in order to patch this into the game. Shit, okay. Okay, that is some good progress right there. Let's go. Oh god! I pressed jump too early and then I wasn't ready. Okay. So I didn't get the first jump input that I pressed and then I wasn't ready to go for a second one there. This is fun so far. Okay. Here we go. Very nice. Oh god! Please! Are you kidding me? How could I have known? Okay. Ooh. Also, yeah, when I saw the um the quiz question come up there, I pretty much immediately knew that um if I looked at chat I would have been spoiled for the answer. <laughs> but yeah, heads up, I don't want people to spoil the answer for uh quiz questions like that. Okay. Okay. Nice! We're in there. And an auto scroller looks like. Hell yeah. Okay. My. There we go. No! Uh, the I didn't go far enough to the right for the uh for the beetle to fall soon enough for me to grab it soon enough. Man, those were such good reads there, and I just got unlucky that the. Okay. That was a good attempt though. Yeah, that's what you got to do there. Okay. And that. Oh god. Okay. No, that hurts. Come on. Yo, Batman, thank you for the GG. Appreciate that. Oh, come on. Looking at chat too much there. Can't get distracted here. Takes a whole lot of focus when I am uh, doing a first playthrough of an intermediate hack like this, and, um,. These are all obstacles that I, that are pretty much new to me. I need to actually learn them and play them. It takes quite a bit more brain power here with an intermediate hack versus a expert hack where I'm just doing the same thing that I've already tried dozens of times and just trying to get the inputs right this time. This one I actually have to puzzle everything out on the fly, basically. And then even after I've gotten through the first time, I still have to puzzle out what the best way to go about it is. Oh, please! Please! God damn it. It's too slow. Oh, really? How'd that not fall in the f hole there? Okay. Yo, Scotty Timberlake, thank you for the five GGs. Appreciate that. Okay. 
Uh, wait a little longer before throwing that shell. Just a little bit. Okay, I did that too quickly, and I want to bait out the bat first before throwing that. Gotcha. I was just trying to be fast there, because this is an auto-scroller. Generally, when you're playing a Kaizo level like this, if it's an auto-scroller, then pretty much everything you're going to be doing, you're going to be doing it in a major hurry to make sure you actually keep up with the level's pace. So we lower that first, then throw that, then do that. Okay. So that one you actually have to wait a bit. Nice, let's go. Hell yeah. Easy first try on the pipe. An easy first try. On the end, let's go! Hell yeah! Hell yeah, that was a real fun level. Will I post all my clears on YouTube? Yeah, I always post the um, full streams onto YouTube, actually. Uh, over at TJB VODs on YouTube. I actually have two channels. All right, you know, Batman, thanks for all the GGs. Steven Delbrook, thank you for the mystery firework gift. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the support, it really means a lot. All right. Dune or die. Let's do this. Okay, that's a spin jump. I... that blue coin was too small for me to see. Gotcha. Okay. So wait. Okay, there is a pipe there, but it's not accessible. Gotcha. Okay. So, one thing I wonder about is like, you can actually get P-Speed here. Okay, then as soon as you land on that, you're gonna be losing the P-Speed. Gotcha. Okay. Oh god! Mistimed that. Okay. You have a very tiny window to actually land on that then. Whew. Can't you watch a replay on Twitch also? Yeah, but the ones that I upload to YouTube, one, actually helps me with the algorithm. And two, um, they're in higher, higher resolution over on the YouTube side. Because on uh, Twitch, I upload in 1080p, which uh, with a fairly low bitrate for 1080p when it comes to video. Um, but then when I upload the VOD onto YouTube, it's in much better quality in 1440p. Ooh, come on. And then over on the Twitch side, the VODs expire over time, so that's why I started the YouTube channel, so that the VODs wouldn't expire. I know you can, um, highlight things over on Twitch, but, like, that's a whole pain, and not many people check that, so... Don't think it's worth the extra effort there. Ooh, the bonk! Okay, good attempt, though. We're getting there. Come on. Yo, Jessica, thank you for the rose. Appreciate that. Okay. That is tough to time. God damn. Okay. That one jump keeps tripping me up. Okay, I might 
just want to do three jumps off of that then? I'm not entirely sure. Like a big jump there, small jump. Yeah, there we go. That helps. Okay. Okay. No! Okay. Gotta wait a little longer on that donut so I can get a bigger trajectory for the jump. Gotcha. A little too fast on that jump then. Wait a little longer on that donut. Wait, really? Okay. Wait a little longer and line yourself up for a running jump, I guess. God damn. That's actually a kind of tough jump. Oh, I hate that bonk. Yo, Batman, thank you for the GG. Appreciate that. Where is my... Okay. The, uh, the mole there just refused to show up. There it is. Oh God! What the fuck? Come on! Are you kidding me? Really? That was so much progress all at once and then just... Okay, sure. Yeah. Just make it that tight. Of course. <sighs> okay. It was a good attempt though. There it is. Okay. It's far too hot to travel any further. Feel free to take a nap in my tent until nightfall. Okay. Am I locked into nightfall? I am. Okay. I wasn't able to see what else was there up ahead, but that's fine. Okay. Got these bombs here. I didn't realize I had P-Speed there. Okay. Spinning off of explosions. The classic. Oh, okay. Oh god! Okay. Right, so that's what that right arrow means then. It means that the platform is going to be moving to the right. And that's the only way to be able to tell that. Okay. Whoa, Jesus, okay. Is that? No, that's not gonna make it, okay. Are you kidding me, mole? Please. Please. That is not fair. Oh, good progress though. We're getting there. Okay, I just didn't know what would be up ahead, so I had to do something, so that's what I did, and it turned out not to be the right thing.
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I missed the switch, of course. Yo, Evil, thank you for the GG. Batman, thank you for even more GGs. Appreciate that. What the fuck? What is the gravity on that thing? Why is it so floaty? That's not how rocks usually move. Okay. I expected it to work like any other rock. But apparently, apparently it has extra low gravity. Just because it's being thrown from this guy. Okay, sure. I would have made it there if it behaved like it looked like it would behave, but it didn't, so that's kind of not fair. Oh, come on. Yeah, what is the gravity on that thing? That does not work like a normal rock at all. That is such floaty, slow gravity. Jesus, it takes forever to fall to the right spot there. The thing is like, I've played enough Super Mario World to know how that's supposed to work. And then when it doesn't work like that, and then that just really, really messes with me. It's like, I've been playing good for uh, Super Mario World physics, but that specific rock doesn't use Super Mario World physics. So I need to adjust for that. Nice, let's go. Hell yeah. Yo, Loaded Rush, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. Batman, thank you for the GG. Appreciate the support. Yo, David, thanks for the GG's. Loaded Rush, thank you for the GG. Appreciate the support. Thank you so much. All right. Swamp Temple. Let's do this. I have heard rumors that Mario has been spotted here at the fabled Swamp Temple. You heard the jump sound, come on. Let's do this. Ooh, okay. Didn't quite catch that midair. Why am I suddenly bad at these jumps? What is happening to me? I, I think I'm used to these thwomps starting out higher up. And it's not lined up how I'm used to. Not entirely sure. <sighs> Music sounds intense. Yeah. This is a really good soundtrack here. A lot of bangers. Oh god. I am not used to the diagonal thwomps. I can tell you that for sure. Cool. Okay, didn't know that it would slam right. Thought it would start slowly moving right. Like, it's one of those things that you can't really expect and you just have to find out yourself by dying to it, basically. The thwomps all look the same. The coins can kind of give you an idea, but like, 
you're not entirely sure what the coins or the signs are trying to tell you, then you're just gonna end up dying to it and find out that way, basically. Oh! Come on, I miss- I am so good at missing switches today. <laughs> Come on! It's even sticking up out of the ground. Ooh. There it is. Okay. Another one of those things where you kind of just have to die to learn. Just run right. Okay, re grabs there. Gotcha. Okay. Oh god. Messed that up horribly. Shouldn't I uh, jump one block there? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. I know what I'm doing here. I'll be fine. Unless the hitboxes get me like that. You know, oh snap, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. How many levels did you miss? Uh, probably a decent amount. Kind of been, um, blazing through this hack a little bit. Like, how is that not sticking enough- sticking up enough for me to bounce off of? Come on. Uh, please, come on. You know, Batman, thank you for the GG's, appreciate that. Oh, come on. Come on. That was a very trolly thwomp there. Whew. What am I doing? Oh yeah, okay. I think I see what you mean there. See, the thing is, there's a left-right arrow just before this that means a completely different thing from the left-right arrow there. Like, there's a left-right arrow here, right here, that tells me how the thwomp is gonna be moving. But then this left right arrow here has nothing to do with how the thwomps move and it's how you want to move. So I just started ig ignoring the left right arrow signs because I was like, okay, well that's just what the thwomps are doing. So like, I don't need to follow that as instructions. Because I already am paying enough attention to the thwomps that I don't need to pay attention to the sign there. Oh god! How could I have known they would have- <sighs> Okay... Oh, is this one too hard? No. Not even close. Cause I can't just... <sighs> if I jump straight up there, without doing the extra bounce like I was doing there, then I just... 
run straight up into the swamp and die. So like... I have to do the extra bounce, I think. I can try without it. Just really have to swerve left for that. Okay. Okay. Fuck! Oh, I wasn't quite able to get the jump off. Come on. I literally pressed jump there too. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Jesus Christ. I disagree. Like, that's my best shot at avoiding that diagonal thwomp is to do an extra bounce there, but then I'm punished by the... Come on. Yo, Ernesto, thank you for the three GGs and the heart me. Appreciate that. Have I done any back shots yet tonight? I don't think so. I haven't s actually... I don't think so. Not in this hack yet. There might be some later in the hack. I don't get what the big deal is. Chat always seems to like it when I do back shots. Okay, so I need to catch that one in midair then, so I can probably respawn them here. Okay, that was a checkpoint, okay. And then that spike is kind of hard to see with all the grass and everything. Oh God, okay. Just gotta be fast there. really cool. Oh, just barely missed that. Okay, okay. We'll take the progress. Loving the vibes here. Okay. I oh, gotta go back again, man! I was expecting the thwomp there to fall, but it took its sweet time. Jesus. Okay, like that, okay. It's gotta be slightly faster for that bounce. the key jump. Okay. Okay. It wasn't ready to do key jump inputs there by that time. No, I missed the key jump again. I'm just not ready on the inputs there. That is technically a frame perfect trick that I'm doing with the key there. Also, yeah, your hitbox while you're uh, wall running with the ramp there. Uh, Mario's hitbox is a. Oh, come on! That is not fair. Uh, Mario's hitbox is a weirdly offset while you're wall running like that. You can actually just wall run straight past the thwomp here kind of funky. But that is something that works in the original Super Mario World. Nothing custom to it there. Alright. 
Let's do this. Oh god. <laughs> of course. Okay. I have to- okay, you do have to press that. Fuck, this is gonna be painful, okay. Oh god! So, looks like, yeah, the on-off switches pause the rotation up there. Oh, this is painful. Okay, dear lord. <laughs> This is painful! Ooh. Oh, come on. Jesus. That's one especially painful thing about it. Okay, Jesus. The fact that there's also fire to worry about here is really messed up. Okay. A little bit anxiety inducing, just a tad. Oh, come on! Stopped it at the wrong time. Please! Oh, this is gonna be so painful. Unless I can find like a perfect rhythm where it just automatically lines up for me. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. You know, Batman, thank you for the GG. Appreciate that. Oh god. Oh god. It's also lagging a little bit in here, which is sometimes, yeah, messing up my jumps. Is that it? Oh, thank God. That's it. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Okay. That was one anxiety inducing boss fight right there. Let's go. Harder than the fruit? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, definitely a Kaizo intermediate boss that was meant to be beaten is much harder than a, um,. Tool assisted Kaizo boss that was not meant to be beaten. Definitely. Yeah. I like how literally anytime I play any boss fight of any difficulty, I always get that question Is this harder than the fruit dealer? The obvious answer 99% of the time is just no. The only one exception would be uh, Omega Fennel. Oh, okay, gotta be fast. Oh, come on! Why'd you put the switch there? I couldn't even see it! Come on, I was going so fast that I couldn't see where the next switch was. Ah, oh, punish for being too good. Okay, come on. There it is. Okay. Oh my god! That was one messed up ending, okay. Jesus. Whew. Whew. Oh, 
Oh, this is such a good attempt right here, and I choked it. Okay. I jinxed it hard there. <laughs> is Omega Fennel harder? Uh, Omega Fennel is probably harder. But they're... They're hard in very different ways. I think, like... It's kind of subjective whether you say, um... Fruit Dealer is the hardest boss fight or not. When you're comparing it to Omega Fennel. Because you could make arguments for uh, each of the two. Which one is harder. I think Omega Fennel is probably harder though, but it's harder in a very different way than Fruit Dealer is. Yo, David, thank you for the GG's coming in. Loaded Rush, thank you for the GG's. Steven Delbrook, thank you for the Flying Jets gift. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. It really means a lot. All right. Topaz Palace. Let's do this. And Bob Grubbs, thank you for the, um, the heart me. Appreciate that. Whoa, things work differently here, too. You can double jump, but only by alternating between jump and spin. Interesting. Actually, that's a... I really like the way that this does that. That's really cool. That way you don't, like, accidentally double jump by, um, re-grabbing. And then you're not... You're also not having to, um... Use an R button for jump, which would just be way too awkward for non-Mario Maker players. I really like the way that this does that. It's a really creative way of solving that problem. Whew. Ooh, come on. Give us two attempts at both boss fights. I've beaten Fruit Dealer literally earlier this stream. And uh, I've beaten Omega Fennel twice already. I don't necessarily need to beat it a third time. Maybe if I replay Cassio. Nice! Let's go. What color pill does Neo swallow in the Matrix? Ah, uh, the red pill. Yump! Let's go! Two for two for the yumps. Hell yeah! Let's go. Easy game. Hell yeah. Okay, that's two switches down, one to go. Hell yeah. Yo, Bob Grubbs, thank you for the heart me. Batman, thank you for the GG's. David, thank you for the GG's. Appreciate that. All right, let's check out World 3. Let's do this. With the yump, hell yeah. Jurassic Bark. Let's do this. Okay, really good first attempt there. Hell yeah. Some really nice reads. This level flows really well. Okay, so I probably want to... Um, not entirely sure what I'm actually doing there. Probably just want to ride that to the right, wait a little bit, hit the question block, jump up to the uh, piranha next, something like that. Like hit that, then jump there, and go up here. Yeah. I thought that was something to hit. Okay, it's a uh, extending platform. So I want to re-grab to the right, bounce up off the next guy, 
jump up onto it as it extends, spin right onto the piranha. Okay, nice. Let's go. That's not a spin jump. Okay. Good attempt, though. We're getting there. I keep forgetting whether the next jump is going to be a spin jump or a normal jump and then I just like hesitate a bunch before jumping but I don't have time to hesitate with how fast that platform falls. I would definitely appreciate a yellow coin there but... Come on! I even read that right. I was... <laughs> Somehow that didn't count as a bounce. Okay. Sure. Whew. Yo, Brian Fibs, thank you for the GGs. Appreciate that. Oh, come on. These are the lives you like to see, not those lame one more viewer and I'll do something. Yeah. I like to um actually like focus on the actual gaming part rather than focusing on like interaction and engagement and all of that kind of stuff. Possibly to my detriment, like, I could have a lot more subscribers if I put any focus into that, but... Oh, that's a spin jump. Okay. The yellow coin there kind of misled me, but it makes sense now. Like that. Then what the heck am I doing there? Okay. 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 I see what I'm doing. Gotcha. Okay. Like that. And over there. No, I probably want to grab the vine. Wait. What about Yoshi, though? Would Yoshi... Hmm. I feel like the vine's up there for a reason. Maybe Yoshi will just be fine. Not entirely sure. Oh yeah, Yoshi is fine. Gotcha. Oh no! Yoshi, you're not supposed to die yet. Come on. So you're supposed to die now, not then. It's a little Yoshi. Okay. That looks like I want to do a normal jump there anyway, even if I had made it there. I think being spinning there would have killed me in the end anyway. Nice. Let's go. 20. Hell yeah. Oh, that is a satisfying win to get first try. Let's go. Yo, casual. Thank you for the four roses. David, thank you for the five GGs. Appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. Yo, Mr. Zeolite, thank you for the game controller. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. It means a lot.
you know, um, thank you for the five roses. Uh, Julian, thank you for the GGs coming in. Appreciate that. All right. Ghastly Grove. Let's do this. You know, Batman, thank you for the GGs as well. Okay, right. That sprite, of course. Yeah, literally the same exact one from the start. Okay. Okay, I want to jump sooner then, so that isn't that far over. So jump right away so I can loop around. There we go. Do that, that, that. Nice. Oh, how'd I miss that? Come on, you know, Pat J. Brandon. Thank you for the five GGs. Appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. It means a lot. Why? I feel like those didn't split apart as far as they usually do. Maybe they don't split as wide as... I don't know. Maybe I'm just imagining that. There we go. There we go. Nice. All right, now what? Checkpoint? Checkpoint. Hell yeah. Yeah, Romeo, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. Okay, gotta be careful there. Panther Lovin, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Ooh, it's too low there. Okay. Right, can just do a big bounce, that makes sense. I- what?! I thought any of those would split, okay. Well, I, at least now I know what I was- what I'm doing, but... There's no way I could have known that none of those were gonna split in half. Do that first, then that. Down there, gotcha. Oh my god! That was... really slow, apparently. I thought I did that pretty fast, but apparently I was too slow. Yo, Linz is magical. Thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. Uh, the rope is on a timer when you grab it, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, um, Mexican, uh, I would prefer, if you wanted to regularly hang out in my stream, I would prefer if you changed your username. Okay. 
Alright, nice. Let's go. Let's go. Hell yeah. Yo, David, thank you for the GG's coming in. Appreciate that. Okay. Winging it. Let's do this. Okay. Keel, yeah. Ooh. I don't know if we're flying here. It doesn't look like I'm going to be flying here. In fact, I might be floating with the float patch, which is one of my least favorite things with Cape. But at least we get Cape. Uh, where did my jump go? Hello, come on. These leaf platforms are really annoying. As long as we're not dealing with any um, unfloating, then we're chill. But when it comes to um, cape float and letting go of the jump button, then there's like three different ways that those could actually work. And it is really hard to get my muscle memory corrected for whichever one I'm going to be doing there. Okay, there we go. Doesn't seem like we're doing any unfloating. Okay. Yeah, this is all slow floating. Love to see it. Ooh. Shit! I was so ready to normal fly there. And then I saw some blue coins, and I was like, oh shit, I probably uh, need to change over to the spin jump button. But then I took too long changing to the spin jump button, and I died. Okay. Wasn't ready for that. Ah, I... Hitbox on these things are very weird. Come on! Really? Did I spawn that too soon somehow? Might have. I don't even know. Why did I spin? Why did I spin? Jazz Jitsu is always really good with the color palettes. Are you kidding me? Do I have to be slow enough that the Koopa shows up, but fast enough that the leaf doesn't fall too much? I might just be spawning that leaf too soon. I don't even know. That's frustrating though. Like that would specifically be right here where I would potentially be spawning that leaf too soon. I was spawning it too soon. Okay, that's actually fucked up. I did slow floating that entire time, but it still worked. Oh no, okay, okay. I'm just gonna- wait, no, no, I'm gonna need flight through the pipe. I'm gonna need pipe flight there. Okay. I wanna do normal flight there, but we're gonna at least be getting some normal flight past the pipe, even if it's just to grab the checkpoint, it looks like. Specifically because we're gonna be entering that pipe, um, right at the start of a spin fly. 
And that means as soon as we get on the other side of the pipe, we'll immediately be flying. That might have spawned it. No, we're fine on the leaf. Yeah, sometimes you can spawn that leaf too soon if you're swinging too, too wide to the right on the way up for the uh, leaves before that, apparently. Oh, come on. Oh! Just got a belief in yourself, exactly. Fine, okay. I was kind of worried I fell too fast there, but we're fine. Also, this seems vanilla for the uh, float frames, which is I'm really thankful for. Nice, okay. Gonna be flying here, yup, yup, yup. Is there anything up that vine or is that decorative? That is decorative. Okay, Jesus. Oh shit! Wait, you're able to- That was cheese? Fuck, now I wanna not have the checkpoint and I wanna play this with cape. Okay, I saw a cape up ahead actually though. But wait, I had flight here. That is some major cheese. <laughs> I'm kinda sad I got the checkpoint now cause I could be flying through this. I need P-Speed here. So we get Cape here, we can spin there, or we could play it like a Pogio level. Playing it like a Pogio level is always a gamble though is the thing. I'm gonna play it like a Pogio level. Okay, so we're gonna need... Yeah, that doesn't quite look passable. Unless there's not the patch that... Yeah. Okay. Gonna need to spin fly there. Yo, Gren, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Okay. Easy game. Easy game. Let's go. Hell yeah. 29. Let's go. Love me some cape. Hell yeah. You know, Gren, thank you for the eight GGs. Appreciate that. All right, Amber Palace. Let's do this. You know, Batman, thanks for the GG's. Julian Butter, thank you for the 31 GG's. Appreciate that. All right, so it looks like similar kind of double jump thing, except the coins make me instantly double jump, which is interesting. 
Right, the coins. I saw those in, as indicators, like, do a spin jump here, but then the coins themselves do a bit more than just indicating. Gotcha. Okay. This is really cool. Okay. Don't even need to do the shell jump properly there, because the coin will do the work for you. It's funny. Oh. Did I get the world record on Beach Mouse? Not quite yet. Gotta take it really easy with the hands. Oh, that's what's happening. Okay. Interesting. I thought the shell would, like, eventually get into a spot where I would bounce on it. I was watching the shell, but didn't watch what was around the shell. Oh god, okay. Gotta do a big bounce, swerve over to the left. Okay. Ooh, okay. Oh, really got a hold right there. Maybe drop down a little lower. I didn't want to grab that yet. Okay. Nice. This level is really cool. Oh, okay. Got to be careful of that uh, dry bones there. Make sure it's in the right spot for me. Go. That's not it. Okay. Did that in the wrong order. Okay. So I just have to hit the coins first, then the dry bones. That's it. Okay. <sighs> Rom hacks have come a long way since Lunar Magic. I mean, they're still using Lunar Magic. Right, I did it in the wrong order again. Okay. Okay, so do that first, then that. Gotcha. Avoid those, okay. Throw. Oh, that is cool as hell. That is cool as hell. Nice, that was a lot of progress all at once. How many... How many Super... Mario game installments are there as of 2024? Nice regrabs, bro. Ah, shit. Uh, I think like for mainline Mario games, like um, only counting the uh, mainline platformers, it's around 20-ish, but I don't know about like overall, including uh, Paper Mario, Mario and Luigi, Mario Kart, Mario Hotel. I'm gonna go 71. No. I'll go 50 then. 
Mario Golf, exactly. Let's try 50. Nice. Didn't get the yump there. Pressed it way too early. Okay, that's two for three for yumps, though. Not bad. Let's go. Let's go. You know, David, thank you for the GG's coming in. Appreciate that. Okay. That's all three Switch Palaces down. Let's check out Road to Nowhere. You know, Arthur, thank you for the 14 GG's. Appreciate that. All right, let's do this. It's a vertical level, apparently. Okay. <laughs> okay. Orb. Let's go. All right. Final world. Dream Diner, uh, is that 16? Yeah, 16. Dream Diner 16. Let's do this. Oh, listen to this music. This sounds wonderful. The castle is in sight. Let's stop off at this diner for a palate cleanser. Diner. Oh, is this a, um, Nightmare Cafe reference? That's why it said Lush outside, of course. These are, like, one-screen puzz puzzles. Kinda like, uh, Nightmare Cafe. Except instead of a cafe, it's a diner here. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, Nightmare Cafe, by the way, is a really, really good series, especially if you're a beginner. Um, because of the fact that they're one-screen levels like this, um, they can be a lot more challenging, but then still be forgiving as a beginner. It can be really fun to play through. Okay. I don't think I actually want to hit that block. Am I Linus Tech? No. I wish I was. I'd be a multi-millionaire. That'd be nice. Didn't realize that would break on me. Okay. And this is so cool. This is a really fun hack. I am loving this. Okay, so we're waiting for the Goomba, it looks like. Have I ever smashed a controller? No. Does it look like I rage quit much? Honest question. Okay, I think I might have... Hmm. Oh, I need to catch that next one midair. That was close, okay. Yo, Ant Learned Coins. Thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. You've rage quit for me. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. 
Okay. Damn, this is fun. Hell yeah. Glad I spin jumped. Okay, a little bit low there, but... Nice. That's a spin jump. Ooh, come on. There we go. Jimmy, thank you for the gift spam coming in. Appreciate that. Ooh. Whoa. Uh, of course. Okay. I didn't see the bean up there. Got the classic bean wrap. Okay. Oh, come on. That's not fair. Very cool. Okay. What now? Nice! Let's go! Hell yeah! That was a really fun level. Love that. Hell yeah. Yo, know, David, thank you for the GG's coming in. Appreciate that. Alright. Sleetin' Fleetin'. Let's do this. Oh, this is a great hack. I am loving it. Oh, right, this level. I've seen this one before. So I remember there's some, like, discontinuities where it doesn't look like there's a wall at the edge of the screen, but there is. So hopefully I can remember enough of those to, uh, not run into that as a problem. Depends on how much I remember. I know this one is a wall here. Oh god, okay. The bonk on the side of the block really tripped me up. Nice! Nice, that was a good chunk of progress right there. Hell yeah. My god, okay. Okay. Good attempt though. You know, Batman, thank you for the GG's. Appreciate that. Nice, let's go. All right, checkpoint, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Shit, okay. It's a whole lot of stuff to pay attention to all at once there. Like, gotta leave enough ground for myself there and grab the block. Whew. No, that's a spin jump! Fuck! Oh, that hurts. 
Oh, come on. Oh, good attempt right there. Good attempt. You saw Donald doing this level a few days ago? Hell yeah. Yeah, Donald's another amazing streamer. Shouts to Donald. Another person who deals with a lot of Ryu car comparisons. It really is illegal to um, be good at Mario while having a beard. Just can't get away with it these days. Nice. Expertly dodged that troll. Let's go. Hell yeah. Let's go. Easy game. Okay. Okay. Looks like we're already at the final castle here. Fort Enigma. Let's get into it. Let's do this. Okay, okay, really good first attempt. We will take that. Hell yeah. God, I am such a gamer. That's a kind of tough jump there, Jesus. Okay. And no wonder I died to it the first attempt. Oh my god. Okay, I can do that in two separate jumps, actually. That's what I'm missing there. I can just land again. So just jump there, then spin. Makes a lot more sense. Okay. Oh, there's a Kaizo block there. Of course there is. Of course. Of course. Ooh, come on. Oh, come on. I wasn't sure whether to go the left side or the right side. Ooh. Making good progress here. We're getting there. Ooh, come on. Left side, and then right side. Okay, I didn't know where to go next! Okay, okay, okay. The hitbox on the uh, ball and chain there is a little bit unfair, but I already know that, so I can't complain too much. But that's how I died. It's just a lot smaller than it looks like. Whoa, come on, that's not fair. Okay. Whew. Is vanilla SMW like a walk in the park for me? I don't play it too often. I mean, like, Nowhere near as much of a walk in the park for me as it would be to a lot of like Super Mario World speedrunners. If you asked me to do a deathless run of Super Mario World, um, it would probably take me a good number of tries. Especially because like Kaizo, you're kind of meant to play with a much more aggressive play style in order to actually win. 
um, like do everything as fast as possible. If you do everything as fast as possible in the original Super Mario World, that's a pretty quick way to die. So, being good at the Kaizo play style does not translate into being good at the original level set from the original game. It helps a lot, but... Oh, go under there. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Nice progress. But like, I, I don't really feel like the original Super Mario World is that hard even to begin with. Even, um, before I got into Kaizo. I disagree. Somehow the fire killed me there, and I disagree. Do I try to do mid-airs in SMW? Yes. Like, generally playing the original Super Mario World, to me, it just becomes like, Trying to show off with cool glitches that I know and stuff like that, rather than actually focusing on the levels. Okay, go under. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Ooh, that's a little tough. Ah, uh, gotcha. Go under. That makes more sense. Ooh. Not quite sure how it wants me to line that part up. Yeah, that's, uh... Do I want to catch the midair before it lands on the bottom? I don't even know. I guess so. Something like... Uh, I don't even know. Yeah, because I can try and catch it in midair there, but it doesn't quite seem right, but... If I don't, then it's just extra awkward. Oh, and that... Okay. I think that is actually what I want to... Uh, like, what I'm supposed to do there is catch that in midair. And we're going to be bouncing off it again after bouncing off the big thwomp. So like that, that, that. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Nice. There's some good progress. Figured it out. Whew. Just gotta actually be sure to uh, land on that thwimp in midair is the thing. It's a little tough. That guy moves really slow as well. Whew. Wait, you don't even need to catch it in midair, huh? I've just been overthinking that this whole time then. Yeah, you can just make that jump, I think. Okay. And then I can loop around to the right if I do that is... Okay. So I think this works better if I do it like that. Yeah, because then the spiny is actually in a better spot for me. Whoa! Didn't... Okay, I had no idea what that net meant. Or the web. I had no idea what that web meant. Well, now we know at least. 
suddenly throw me a completely new mechanic that I've never seen before. Oh, gotta love spike hitboxes. Fun fact, those spikes take up the entire square around it. There are no triangle-shaped hitboxes in Super Mario World, so it takes up the full square. Actually, I lied. There are slopes in this game. But, that's different. Door. Oh my god, okay, you gotta be fast there. I realized, like, pretty quickly that I had to get in there fast because the floor beneath the door was about to break. I had to be fast, so... That's what I went for, but... Still had that human reaction time to actually turn my focus to that part before I could realize. Nice, let's go. Let's go. Hell yeah. Okay. Nice checkpoint. Let's go. Okay, then I just walk under. Gotcha. Also, the way you phrase it, he has five years experience, makes it sound like, um... You're talking about my Mario resume. <laughs> like, yes, I'm definitely qualified for this job. I have five years experience playing these levels. Don't have to worry. Mushroom Kingdom is safe in my hands. Gotta already be holding jump there. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Nice progress. Let's go. That sounded so dirty. How did that sound dirty? That makes no sense. I think that's just your mind that's dirty. Just one jump off that is fine. See, I can I can understand people having a dirty mind whenever I say backshot in reference to throwing the shell back behind me. Um But, I, I don't see it there. What was dirty about that? Other than your own mind. I'm legitimately curious. Nice, let's go. Okay, we're good. I can't get that jump. <laughs> there we go. All right, final boss. Let's do this. Or not boss fight quite yet, but it was a boss door on the final level. Now, Denny, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. Okay, I don't... Uh, the screen scroll is kind of misleading there. Okay. Yo, Muzz, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. Whew. 
Yo, love, thank you for the marvelous confetti gift. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. It means a lot. Ooh, that is a tough one. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to hit that block with my head. Just somehow didn't get enough height both times. Where am I? Oh, I see what I'm doing there, okay. Please hit the switch! Now I'm too slow and the lava's gonna catch up to me. Yeah. Oh. I disagree. Yo, Sean, thank you for the 12 GGs. Appreciate that. Is there a Kaizo ranking system? Um, like player ranking? No. And there never will be. Uh, difficulty ranking? This one would be considered uh, intermediate difficulty here. Um, there's easy, there's intermediate, and there's expert. And all of those categories are very broad. My god, this- this room keeps going. Jesus, this is a long-ass room. Okay. That was a lot of progress right there, at least, but my god. This keeps going. Oof. twice now I've died over there. <sighs> Sends me back so far, goddamn. Oof. Because last time I overshot that, so I tried to correct, and then I overcorrected. Oh, it's gonna be so many tiny mistakes like that that just completely send me so far back every single time. Ooh, okay. Don't want to bonk there. Again, like... It's gonna be tiny mistakes every single time. Jesus, this is a long section. My God, okay. Whew. Okay. This has got to be the final section here. There might be a final boss, too. We've yet to see.
Oh my god, how are you supposed to get the height there? Come on. Really? I feel like that was screen scroll jank. Like I spawned that too late or something, I don't even know. Man, that's frustrating. Ooh. Do you need a strong PC for these ROM hacks? No. The exact opposite. You can run these on a potato. The, uh, the level editor for these still to this day works on Windows 98 for reference. supposed to get the hide there come on I really feel like uh, I don't know that's frustrating come on okay I'm dead I have to be dead like the lava's just gonna catch up to me at this point I feel like because there was rising lava at the start that's a ticking time bomb eventually it's gonna tick down right Jesus, Jesus, my God. Okay, actually, no, there's the, uh, there's the ending pipe up there. Okay, that was close then, actually. Okay, we got this. Unless that's a screen scrolling pipe and there's still more. Like, who even knows at this point? Yo, small Z, thank you for the rose. Appreciate that. Why spin? That jump hurts. Oh my god! Come on! Just actually making it up onto that sparky there. Ooh. Yo, Akeem, thank you for the your amazing gift. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. It means a lot. So I gotta like... <sighs> so first Sparky wants me to jump right away, but then the second Sparky wants me to do uh, a little bit of waiting before I jump over. Okay, sure. Unless I'm spawning it wrong, who even knows? Something that's kind of painful to end off a long section with. 
something that you just kind of have to die to learn. <sighs> Though if that's the final trick of the entire hack, that's kind of fair at least. Have something hard to end it off on, you know? Oh god, we're fine. I don't think the rising lava ever comes into play. Unless you're like ultra, ultra, ultra slow. Also, how's it raining inside? Okay, actually, no. That time it spawned better. And you don't want to do multiple bounces off of any of those. Okay. So I was like... I wasn't really going for a win there. I was just trying things out, seeing what worked out. And now we know, at least. But yeah, that time things spawned a lot better. I think it's like, depending, yeah, how fast I jump up to those Koopas in the first place. Gotcha. Okay. Run. Okay, thank God. Checkpoint. Jump. Okay. I can't read fast enough for these. Spin. Regrab. Jump. By a pixel. Come on. Win! Orb! Let's go! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Let's go. Easy game! That was a very cool Kaizo block there. Credits? GG Gamer. Let's go. Hell yeah! Gamble 2. To run or jump around painfully to, or play, playfully to. You really think that was it? Let's end this. Meet me at my domain to take my final test. Okay, okay. Still got more then. You know, Steven Delbrook, thank you for the enchanted guitar gift. Really appreciate that. Okay. Let's see what's next then. Quizmaster's Domain. Let's do this. This is it, Luigi. The true final test. Let's find the Quizmaster and kick some ass. Where was tea invented? Ooh. Was it England? Or, sorry, India? I think it was India. No. China. Yeah. I was torn between China or India. China, like, sounded like the good answer at first, but then started to doubt myself there. Okay, let's see. Was a baby seal called? Uh, cub. No. Is it just seal? No. Pup? Pug? Those are dogs. It's not pug. That makes sense. So I guess pup. Huh. Baby seal is called a pup, apparently. Which of these animals does not appear in the Chinese Zodiac. Um, Year of the Bear. Yeah, there's no Year of the Bear. 
Let's see. What year was the SNES first released? Uh, 1990 for Japan. Um, but we're talking about the SNES, not the Super Famicom. So it's 1991. Oh, fuck you. We're talking about the SNES, not the Super Famicom. Come on. Come on. I was right. Actually, let me look that up. Uh, SNES North America release. Yeah, 91. I was right. I was right. <laughs> In British slang, how many pounds is referred to as a monkey? What the fuck? <laughs> 500? Sure, apparently. How many dots on the Domino's Pizza logo? Ooh, that's five, right? I think five. That's hard to reach though. It might be three. Yeah, three also sounds right. Right, yeah, I think, well, I'm gonna Try and reach the five pipe just to see if that's even possible. Because now I'm kind of curious if you can even get there. Okay, let's go this way then. Oh yeah. Okay, it's not five. I think three is right. Yeah. What question is this? Uh, seventh? Might be the sixth, actually. Let's go seventh. Ooh, God. Seventh, yep. Enter the fourth. <laughs> nice. Uh, what are you waiting for? What am I waiting for? Ah. That, apparently. It flashed. <laughs> it had me wait. Six times two equals, well clearly let's choose the 12th to 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Um, uh, question plus question equals 40. Two coins plus two coins equals 20. A oh, coin coin plus coin coin, so coin times coin. So let's see, question block would be 20. Coin would be, um. So two coins squared is 20, but what's the square root of 10? That's irrational. So why is it coin coin plus coin coin? Is that like two coins? So like two coin plus two coins, so four coins? That doesn't, that's not how mathematical symbols work, but uh, I guess let's say coin equals five. And then vine equals four. So question plus coin plus vine. That's 20 plus five plus four equals, no, that's not right. I'm not reading chat. Uh, let's see here, 20? I'm confused at the coins. I'm confused at the coins. Hmm. I'm not reading chat. I know chat's full of spoilers right now and I'm go not gonna read chat because I don't want to be spoiled. So let's see here. I looked at chat. I mean, I'll try 27. Yeah, okay, sure. Oh, right, yeah, half a vine, kind of, who even knows. Uh, are you having fun yet? It's ice physics, what? Apparently. <laughs> Am I having fun yet? Yeah. Okay, my final unbeatable question. Train A and B simultaneously depart st station A and B. Station A and B 
are 252.5 miles apart from each other. Train A is moving at 124.7 miles per hour towards station B. Train B, 153.5 miles per hour towards station A. If both trains departed at 10 a.m. and it is now 10.08 a.m., how many minutes until both trains pass each other? Okay, so we're figuring out the number of total minutes and then subtracting eight there. So uh, let's see here. So train A and B simultaneously depart station A and B. Uh, 252.5 miles apart from each other. Okay, so let's divide everything by 252.5 to make things easier. So 124.7 divided by 252.5. Uh, let's load up uh, leaf pad. There we go. Okay, uh, that is 0 0.49 hours. And then if we take 153.5 and divide that by 252.5 miles per hour, that would give um, 0.6 hours. So, if they, um, how many minutes until the trains pass each other? So for them to pass each other, that would be... Hmm, that's actually kind of tricky then, because... Okay. Because I need to find out um, when the uh... so I would need to subtract one speed by the other and then find the root I think so let's take Let's just, um, I'm just going to subtract what I got, 0.6 hours. That was the wrong button. Now you can see me close up. Um, and then take that, turn that into minutes, uh, just times 60. That's 6.8 minutes. That's not correct. Okay. I'm just going to guess. <laughs> I'm just going to guess. I think that's easier. <laughs> Is a second equation of constant acceleration, something like that. There's few enough pipes here that we can just guess. Is it 32.058? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, right. Yeah, the coins. Yeah. Okay. This is so cool. This is so cool. Okay. Hell yeah. I lost my spin somewhere there. I think from the wall jump? I'm not even sure. I... Okay? Huh. That... I feel like I did that right and it's just really precise, but that doesn't seem right. I don't know. Hmm. Tricky setup there. I forgot to spin. Okay. 
Are you jumping on nothing? So, when I have sparkles, that means I have a double jump ready. And then when I grab a coin, that gives me a uh, jump height as well. Shit. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, I ha Okay, I used up my double jump by accident. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, then I have- a okay. Actually sparkling that time. I feel like it wasn't sparkling the other time, and I'm not sure why. I hit them in the wrong order. It's like, kind of indecisive between which coin to hit first. Okay. And then we're doing a shell jump next. Shell's gonna slide. Wait, no. That's just a red shell. Okay. Coin then, or sorry. Shell jump off the rope. Then probably after the shell jump, we're gonna be doing a double jump. Something like that. Oh, it's a motor shell. Okay. Oh, you kidding me. I blame my controller there. Okay, that was a good attempt. Okay, making some nice progress. Let's go. Got distracted by the weird screen scroll there from D-pad neutral. Oh, accidentally used up my double jump. Whew. I keep using my double jump. Have I practiced this level a lot? No, this is my first playthrough. I've practiced Kaizo a lot, but this is my first time at this level. Kidding me. Come on. Oh, come on! 
The fact that it gives you the extra amount of speed, but only if you're doing the wall jump from a D-pad neutral is really disorienting. It can catch you off guard quite a bit. There's a lot of games out there, the only way you're able to wall jump is if you're holding the D-pad toward the wall while you press jump. But here, if you do that, then you lose a lot of, a lot of your speed. But then if you do the inputs in a very specific way, then you get a bunch of extra speed that you aren't expecting. It can throw you off if you're not expecting it. Okay. Oh! Missed the coin! Okay, good attempt right there. Let's go. Okay. Okay, we got this. Whew. Man, the screen scroll is so distracting there. Because it takes... The way that your spin jump messes with that, just... Trust me, it's different there. How'd I not get the wall jump there? Come on. You know, Batman, thank you for the GG. Appreciate that. I got two bucketed? No! Come on! Come on! That's not fair. Jesus. It's... Because I use my screen scroll a lot to be able to know where I am, especially with the fact that I'm going up off screen there. Um, but because the screen scrolls over to the left and does the, like, look ahead thing, so the, um... So you can see more to the left of Luigi than you can see to the right of Luigi. And then you turn around, and then um, it's the other way around, so you're going to be seeing more to the right of Luigi. You can see to the left of Luigi. Usually that's not a problem. Like, I can deal with that just fine. Um, but specifically because I'm spin jumping there, it, like, the way that it scrolls back to the right depends on the direction that Luigi is facing at the time which is constantly changing back and forth. So you can actually see it like stair-stepping kind of, like switching back and forth between actually moving to the right or moving to the left or not. Or sorry, moving, like scrolling the screen to the right 
or just not scrolling the screen forward at all. It just does that in really wonky increments like that and it's hard to keep track of where you are and what your speed is because of that. Kinda acts as like a drunk filter basically. There we go. Why I spin? Okay. I should just use the coin. Okay. So then we keep spinning, keep spinning, spin, bounce off the wall, then use the double jump for the pipe. Okay. Okay. Just remember to keep on spinning. Gotcha. Okay. That looks like it's the end. Possibly the end of the entire hack, but we'll have to see. Um, I want to generally keep my private life private, but... I will say I am I have zero interest in ever having kids. Maybe that'll eventually change, but like Okay, nice. It's even a lenient up pipe. Hell yeah. Let's go. That scared me. <laughs> the toad scared me. I jumped out of the way of it. Almost jumped in the spike. It's time. The quiz master is in the next room. I'm not letting you go in alone. Okay. Yo, we got a custom boss. Hell yeah. This is cool. Okay. You know, Jackie, thank you for the high bear gift. Appreciate that. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> okay, where are you showing up? Right there? Okay. Oh god. <laughs> it's a lot on screen all at once here. Didn't give me the block. Come on. Come on, yo, Steven Delbrook. Thank you for the autumn farm gift. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. It means a lot. Okay. Let's go! Sorry about the flashing lights, let's go! Hell yeah! We're in there! Easy game! There it is. Okay. Credits! Let's go! Gamble 2 by Jazz Jitsu. Made using Flux Base ROM. ASM and patches. Whole bunch of cool people. Hell yeah, let's go. Well, actually, wait, I'm gonna be in the credits probably. I I wasn't there. I swear this has the speed patch in it though. Maybe uh maybe it'll be later on in like patches or something. Who even knows? Yo, know, Dechon Parker, thank you for the game controller. Really appreciate that. 
I might be later on in the credits. I did make um, the updated version of the speed patch that most of the ROM hacks out there use. Um, I don't think I'm in the credits. Dedicated to the entire SMW community. My daughter Lily, my fiance Lauren. Special thanks to SMW Central, Fernap, SJ Charlie the Cat, and Daniel. Thanks for playing. Hope you had fun. Till next time, Jez. Let's go. Hell yeah. Let's go. Nice! Hell yeah! That's the entire hack. Let's go. All in one stream. Easy game. Hell yeah. Yo, Steven Delbrook, thank you for the champion gift. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the support. It means a lot. Hell yeah. Let's go. Beat the whole game and I'm still on the first exit. Yeah. Ah, let's go. Hell yeah. Okay. I, I think I want to do a little something extra before ending stream. Just a little something. I'm not entirely sure what. Um... Let's see here. What's something I could do to cap the stream off here? Could always revisit the classic. Nice, nice. Let's revisit the classic Toaster Strudel. I love this level. I love this level. This level is so nice. That's a back shot. Whoever it was in chat who wanted to see a back shot this stream, there you go. <laughs> Oh, the bonk. Okay. God, I love this level. The music, the one-up sounds, everything about this is so satisfying and just so smooth. Got the same bonk again. Ooh. Okay. Not quite getting the right trajectory there. Oh. I disagree. That should have made it. Come on. Oh. You know, Batman, thank you for the GG. Appreciate that. Jonathan B, thank you for the uh, five GGs, by the way. Not Mark, thank you for the hat and mustache. Caleb with the game controller. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. It means a lot. Oh, come on. I think this is music from The Sims. I could be wrong. I've never played The Sims, actually. Right, okay, that's a re-grab shell jump. Since when did I play this hard? Uh, since when did Mario play this hard? Uh, since people started modding it. Ooh, come on.
Oh, you're kidding me. How'd that not hit? Come on. Ooh. Uh, 2007 isn't when Hard Mario started being made. 2007 is when Kaiza 1 was released, but there were hard ROM hacks before that. Like, that's generally a thing that people want to do when they start, when they load up a level editor and it's just like, try and see the hardest thing they could make. It's just a lot of uh, the specific tropes and stuff came from that 2007 release there. I forget exactly when Lunar Magic, the first version of Lunar Magic, released, though. Oh, come on. Lunar Magic was released September of 2000. Wow, it's been out a long ass time. Jesus. That's the uh, level editor that people use to modify Super Mario World. Yo, Batman, thank you for the GG. Appreciate that. Grab that! Come on! Yo, Snow Cone Steve Austin, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. God, I love this level. It's just so nice. So satisfying. So smooth. Did I ever have a Game Boy Color? Yeah, as a kid. Please, give me the shell! Come on! That's not fair. Ooh. Which color? Mine was see-through purple. Uh, we had a few different colors. Um, we did have a, uh... We had a number of Game Boys growing up. What hack is this? Just got back. Uh, we're closing stream off by playing some Toaster Strudel. This was made by Fry and B. Jesus, okay. Kinda hesitated on those back shots there. Get your mind out of the gutter. I mean, shooting the shell back behind me. <laughs> One thing about that is that there's still a good chunk of level after that. That's not even close to the end there. Oh. 
Jesus, I forgot about that jump. Oh my God. Okay, okay, that's pretty close to the end. Okay, very nice, let's go. I did a low bounce off of that, that would have made it. Okay, okay. Nice, that was a good attempt. We're getting there. Got that consistency going. Okay, maybe it, man. That's what's awkward about that jump. Ah, uh, sometimes that Koopa doesn't quite line up for the right height off of it. Hmm. Hmm. Is there any better way to approach that one? Because I don't fully remember how I did that in the previous playthroughs. Like, I'm wondering if I should be doing a big bounce or not there, mainly. There we go. No! Oh, how'd I miss the bump there? Okay, okay, okay. That's some progress, let's go. So yeah, I did do it right, just somehow didn't line up that one time. Oh, come on. What hack is this just got back? Uh, oh, right. I already answered you. Sometimes you get more height off of that Koopa bounce, sometimes you don't. <sighs> I feel like it's random. I don't even know. Ooh, good attempt though. We got this. We got this. Play well, yeah, thank you, appreciate it. Glad you enjoy. Unless you're just saying that I play well, but you don't actually enjoy watching. Like you hate it when people play better than you. Man, the inputs on that are so awkward. Ooh. <sighs> One of the harder parts of the level for me, for sure. 
least for me right now, that's the hardest part for me to get down. That's not a low bounce. Okay, I was focusing too much on the next setup. I just completely distracted myself from actually getting there. black chomp things, uh, they're munchers. I don't know what's annoying about them. I guess getting killed by them is annoying. They couldn't give you that. There it is. Nice! Fuck off! No! <laughs> I celebrated too early! No! No! Come on! The freaking bonk! Are you kidding me? Oh, that one hurts. Oh, do that again. Man. Man. The Omeka, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. Oh. That was a good attempt at least, but god damn it. Takes one over waffles? How'd that happen? There it is. I almost undershot it that time too. <laughs> oh, let's go! Let's go. Hell yeah. How's it possible to pass like that? Hell yeah. Easy game. God, I love that level. It's so much fun. Hell yeah. Oh, I, um, I want to show off a trick that I learned. It might take a good number of tries, but let's see. Baron of Shell. Baron of Shell 1.1. Yo, Mecca, thank you for the 10 GGs. Appreciate that. It was on the empty file here. And true triple. I learned a, um... So this is a triple shell jump. Except harder than normal because, um... The shells can break with one another. So you have to make sure they don't break. And I learned a, um, learned slash kind of invented a much more consistent setup for how to do this. Let me see if I can get one here. Whew. 
game is this? OJ Simpson Simulator? That makes no sense. I I guess like with Mario dying a bunch, maybe. <laughs> but I don't think OJ Simpson was infamous for killing a bunch of turtles. Oh, come on. Man, this is a tough trick. A lot harder than it looks. Because you got to get everything at the right angle. And any tiny adjustment that you make makes a huge difference with that. Did I see a clip where a juror said they all thought he did it? Oh, that sounds about right. Oh, come on. Man! So yeah, there's a... The fact that you gotta juggle these, but also keep them from touching one another makes it especially tough. We almost got it a couple times, too. Oh, come on. Ooh, come on. I should probably get some music going. Um. See. Here we go. Oh, come on. Beard is majestic. Yeah, thank you. Actually, a little loud. There we go. That's better. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Have I beat this before? I've done it off stream. I want to show it off here. Let me know if the uh, music volume's better now. Let's go. Let's go. Hell yeah. There it is. So yeah, that's the uh, new strategy that I came up with for that trick. Uh, makes it a lot smoother to pull off. Hell yeah. Okay. And there's a few other levels here, like the motor triple. These shells... This works a lot easier because... Um, these shells can just pass through each other and not break. Let me get the music back going. But you do have to switch back and forth between the normal jump and the spin jump here, which makes this a little tough, but the fact that they can pass through each other just fine makes it a lot friendlier. I lower the music just a tiny bit. There you go. Ooh. Okay, I think I'm doing the first up toss too quickly. Ooh. Oh. 
Come on. Okay, this is actually a little tough. I, I said this was easier because the shells can pass through each other, but... I'm a little out of practice with this kind of triple shell jump in the first place. And then having to also change between spin and normal jump here. It's a bit of a mindfuck. That was close. I threw that too soon, though. That was a good attempt. Whew. That was close. That was really close. Ooh. Nice! Let's go! Let's go! Hell yeah! Can't you just do the spinning jump always? No, because you don't get a full height jump uh, with the spin jump. You just stomp it and immediately start falling. Let's go. So this is a quad. We're not getting the quad today. This one's too hard. Yeah, we're not getting this anytime soon. This is too many shells. <laughs> Too many goddamn shells. Yo, Steven Delbrook, thank you for the motorcycle together gift. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. It means a lot. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, man, there's so many shells. So many goddamn shells. <laughs> you know, Steven Delbrook, thank you for the Lily the Leopard gift as well. Really appreciate that. Who the hell voted uh, McDonald's over Wendy's? <sighs> Do you need to use all of the shells? Yes. Okay, that was my best attempt I'll probably get at all. <laughs> uh, there's this one too. Hand Shredder, no thank you. Cut for good reason, this one's cool. Oh great, the uh... The music broke. Here, let me um... Oh, it doesn't let me pause! Except the music is broken because I start selected. It's annoying. I gotta pause, unpause, and I exit here. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now the sounds are working. Okay. This level's really cool. And it ends with a midair. Ends with a no P speed midair, so a nearly triple frame perfect trick. That was not fair. <sighs> That's close, okay. Good attempt right there. Got a really good left tap there, just wasn't fully ready for the uh, frame perfect part. Is there a specific requirement for midair? Um, there's three different inputs that you have to get perfectly within 1 30th of a second. One of which is actually frame perfect, where you have to get it perfectly within 1 60th of a second. There's two inputs where you have 
uh, 0.03 seconds of leniency. And then one where you have 0 0.016 uh, seconds of leniency. Sorry, 0 0.017. If we're rounding correctly there. How'd you learn it? Um, studying how other people do it. Nice. Pretty short level. Orb. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see here. What are these other ones again? You know, Steven Delbrook, thank you for the, uh, whale diving gift. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for support. Oh, this is just a motor emitter. Easy enough. Orb. <laughs> Easy enough. <laughs> and this one, motor emitter riser. Gotta chain multiple together here. Nice! Orb. Let's go. What's the use of the gloves I'm wearing? These are compression gloves. They help prevent hand pain. Um, let's see here. So... I mean, we've already beaten this from 1.0. I know they, like, cut out the, uh, really fucked up ending here. Yo, Steven Delbrook, thank you for another whale diving gift. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. I probably don't want to replay this section here. Might be a bad idea right now. Especially considering it's literally called Hand Shredder. Also, the double music going. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Uh, I do want to give the quad a few more shots, though. No, man, this is too many goddamn shells. Too many. It's too many. Gone too far. <sighs> Have I ever done the quad? No. It has been done, but not by me. So, let's see here. So, I think you want to do the first up toss as late as you can. So that you can do the fourth up toss later. Hmm. Ooh. That was my best attempt yet. Okay, so I had all the other shells in the air. And I got the sh shell jump there. Hmm. Hmm. So, okay. I think you want to drop down a bit. I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. Throw them against the wall? Okay. Did it. That didn't accomplish much, though. Hmm. Might be, uh...
Yo, Stephen Dalbrook, thank you for another Lily the Leopard gift. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. The support really means a lot. a tricky trick. Hmm. I need to do all three up tosses at the very start really close to one another to make sure that the third shell doesn't get too far to the right. Then I gotta delay there. And then we're like... doing two up tosses there. Like that! Oh my god! Oh my god! I got two up tosses there! I if I would if I pulled far enough away from the wall, I actually could have made that. That's my best attempt yet. Oh my god, that's actual progress. That is actual progress, Jesus! We're actually learning it. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah, okay. I kind of see what I'm doing here. To an extent. Interesting. I yeah, need to wait on that one. Ooh, okay. Yo, Pat, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. That was a decent attempt. I might want to fast fall a little bit on the first one, though. Yo, Ellie Red, thank you for the heart me. Pat, thank you for the GGs coming in. Appreciate that. Stretch the hands. All shells in one line. Well, that's a little bit easier said than done, to say the least. Good attempt. Good attempt. I felt that one. That one was really good. Wasn't quite able to grab the right shell or the left shell, but it was really close to grabbing both of them, and then I could have... I would have wanted a shell jump right. Up tossed... Twice? Wait. So yeah, we still have to do... a triple from there. So... Let's see. So we do another shell jump, up toss once more, but then grab the next one, do a shell jump, grab, okay, okay, I see it. Jesus, yo, Didolino, thank you for the heart me, appreciate that. Is the orb higher than the last one? Yes. So I could just do a triple shell jump here. That's not enough. That's what a triple looks like. Hands okay? Yeah. <sighs> I kind of want to, like, with the amount of progress I've gotten with this today, kind of want to see if I can get it, you know?
That was a good attempt right there. I, those ended up too far to the right with the up tosses as well, though. They weren't really in a line for me as the thing. Need those shells not to end up that far over to the right. Have I beat this level before? No. My god, okay. I wonder if I should, like, try and save state practice this. I don't even know how I'd begin to do that, though. That was another pretty good attempt. <sighs> yeah, this is a quad shell jump. We've done a triple shell jump before, but not a quad. That's enough of that. I, I'm surprised I got that much progress there. Like, I got pretty close to the point where um, it was just a matter of pulling off a triple shell jump, which I've done a lot of triple shell jumps before, so. In fact, like, yeah, I was set up to be able to do a triple shell jump there. I just didn't swerve far enough away from the wall for it. I had all of my shells in a line where it was just down to doing a triple shell jump. Like, I actually got the quad set up there. So, yeah, this is surprisingly doable. I gotta give my hands a rest, though. So, um, we'll save that one for later. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you want to catch the next stream, the follow button is up at the top of the screen. I also have a Discord through the link in my bio. Discord's the best place to get notified of the uh, live streams because TikTok can be super iffy about actually notifying you when I go live. So if you want to join the Discord, the link through that is in my bio. Uh, the link for that is in my bio, sorry. Um, I also have a YouTube channel over at TJB VODs where I'll be uploading this full stream. If you missed some earlier parts of the stream and wanted to watch them back, It'll be up going up tomorrow morning over at TJB VODs on YouTube. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you all have a fantastic night. And I will see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching.